hopefully she'll be feeling better soon. Just going to check and make sure we're live on our website. Greg's checking that we're live on Facebook, and it looks like we are, so that's good. Yeah, here we are. That's good. So, and Lauren is taping us live on Instagram. Igor's taping us today. So I have uh, some old things and some, uh, a lot of old things today to talk about, like just some simple things. And I want to make a new, uh, I want to make a new kit. I want to make something about this size, I think, like for, for a beginner kit. So I'm just going to grab my ruler. Um, I'm just going to go through here, Igor, and grab my ruler. Whoops, that's okay. Um, so... So let's measure this one. This was our kit from last year. We may re-release it at some point as a, as a product boat. So that's five by 12. That's five by 17. Hmm, how many square inches is that? I always find it interesting to measure the square inches off a piece, because that sort of gives me an idea how much wool I'm gonna need. Five by 17. Square inches. Hmm. Okay, so five by seventeen is a good. I think it's a good size for me to work in, and I really love this design. So I might come up with something kind of like that. Um, so one of the things people often ask me is, can I hook something small on a shed cam frame? And the answer is yes. You can do it different ways. If I wanted to put, put a piece of linen just this wide on my shed -a camp frame, I could do that. It would be fine. But what I do is I use chalk line. This is from a hardware store. So home hardware in Amherst would have it, um, or any home hardware would have chalk line. And then I take my chalk line. I always tie a knot in the end, or sometimes I burn it, like just turn my lighter on and give it a little melt. And you put it through. probably anxious to see the pillow I made last week, eh? I'm going to show you. It's still here. And then I stretch it like this and tie it nice and tight. And so you can do this with, you could put any, as long as your linen will reach from here to here to sew it on, you can do any width. You could do something this wide. It could be five inches wide if you wanted it to be. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. Just showing you that. There we go. It's upside down. So the question of the day today is, do you have a favorite shape that you like to hook? Like one of my favorite shapes is this sort of long rectangle. And I just love, I just love that shape. So, okay, so who's that calculator? There we go. I've got to do this again because I don't have a mind for numbers. 5 by 17. Yeah, okay. So I need about, that's about 80 square inches. So let's measure. So whenever I'm hooking on my Shetty Camp frame, I don't know why, but I don't like to start on the rolled up end. I like to start on the end that's not rolled up. And then I can, if I'm creating a design, so this could be a little tighter. Sometimes when I do this, I bust one. Oh no, there's lots of room here. Okay, so let's go with 17. Ah, let's, let's, Igor is here taping today and he always measures the the rugs for me and then we order the frames and one of the things you want to do when you're ordering a frame for a rug is you want to leave yourself a quarter of an inch so for example this rug is 12 
Oh, so it ends up being 16, 12, 12 and 5, no, seven, that's 17 inches. by six inches. Ah, 17 by six. So if I'm going to order a frame for a rug that's 17 by six, I'm going to order a frame that's 17 and one quarter by six and one quarter. So for example, I have a frame here and it is just slightly bigger than this one. This frame is 17 and a quarter by seven and a quarter. So I'm gonna measure the inside of this frame just to do double, double check. So yeah, it's 17 and a quarter. So I'm gonna make a rug that's 17. So this is 17 and a quarter by seven and a quarter. But I need some space to get the rug in here and Igor always staples them in for me. Um, so that's seven and a quarter. So I'm going to make my rug 17 by seven. And you can, you can order your frame first and make the rug if you want. Can you hold it? Yeah. 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 What were we going to say? Yeah. You're going to show, you're going to tell me something. <clears throat> uh, unit sizes. Yeah. No, no, I'm good. But when, when, when a rug is 17 and a quarter by seven and a quarter, I need to make the rug. Oh, what? Do I? Uh, yeah. 17. 17 uh, oh, yeah. by yeah. seven. Seven, yeah. Yeah. Little, 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 you need a little, little space. space yeah. So like when you measured, for example, yeah. when you measured uh, this one. This one, yeah. yeah. Um, you measure that. I'll get you a, I'll get you the bigger. Sorry, Igor. <laughs> Don't be complaining about the ruler. <laughs> Great. Okay. Uh, 16 uh, and uh, a half, is it? A half, yes. Yeah. A 16 and a half. Uh, you need to check uh this and this yes. Uh, yes he with my rugs especially you need to do this because yes. yeah <laughs> yeah yes that's good that's perfect and 11 11 yeah 11. 11 okay so that means we need to order 16 and three quarters yeah. by 11 and a quarter, and a quarter yeah yeah. Okay. yeah so that's how we measure for the rug then igor does that for me all the time that's one of the things he does here besides the map. So I'm just going to go back here now and I'm going to draw this one, which I need my measurements again. Like I have no memory for numbers. I have no memory for dates. I have a good memory for ideas. I'm pretty good with names, great with faces. But you give me a number. Are you now, Lorna, you're just the opposite, aren't you? Uh, it depends on the day. <laughs> but you you remember numbers really well. Yeah. So I am 17 by 6. I have it written there. Okay. So I've got to get rid of this because we don't have this kit anymore, just so you know. But we can make you a frame any size that you want. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go. So this is 12. and five by six by six that's not perfectly straight okay Okay. Okay. 
So now we're going to create a design here. And this design may or may not be a new kit. We're just wondering. Greg made me a decaf this morning. Very fancy. Yeah, everybody's enjoying it. We got new dishes too. We were eating on chip dishes. Okay, so what am I going to make? I think I am going to do the mountain in the background. I think I'm going to do like some goldenrod, sort of yellow, a lot of yellow. So. I don't know what I'll do with the sky, but. So I'm just giving myself a sort of premise of flowers here. I love goldenrod. It's one of my favorites. Okay, so this is going to be sort of plain. So I'm going to put some. Okay, just a little movement in there. So let's start. So now we got to go pick out some colors for this. So this one is not going to require a lot of outlining. So it's going to do a little bit up here in the black. It's really important for me to put that one away now. Like I know that it's really tempting to go look at that because I really liked it and copy it. But I, I'm better going from my head because if I go from my head, I won't, I won't, uh, I won't like emulate it too much and maybe something really good and new will happen. So come with me and we're going to pick out some colors. So I know I want, uh, I know I want yellows. So I'm just going to pull out some gold here. That's kind of like our window pane gold. Some, some of the golds that we use. Oh, I need some of our, yeah, some of, right? Some of our great custom colors that we use in gold. Okay, so that would probably do me. Uh, I might want a bit of this just for a bit of texture. And then I want some greens. And I am very partial to woody moss. So I know I want that for this. So let's look under my mossy greens and see what we got. So there's some, there's some woody moss. And this is just a little mixture of whatever left over from something else. There's a little fleece, um, and not fleece, but curly locks. And there's some slob. So that's good, but there's not much variation in color there. Like you can see that that's just sort of like, it's a little bit flat. So what do we have for spring greens or something for, these are supposed to just pull right out, but I'm overstuffing them. And they get stuck in the back there. So maybe we'll just see about a bit of fleece. Um, that is just too springy, but a bit of citrus maybe. Okay. And then I'm just going to throw in like a few strands of that just to buck it up a bit. And then I'm going to see what I have for dark green. So these are just normal studio colors that we have all the time, right? I'm going to throw a bit. So I need something for back hills, right? Because we know we have a mountain in there. So I'm just going to carry all this back up there with me. But I don't want to have too, too much. So let's get some of that slub it's always good and i've been loving worsted weight yarn i because it does something it gives me a new texture in my rug so i'm going to get some of that in there that's floof i don't really want that in there i'm going to get some of this dark green though i don't see any dark green heather i i need something heathery like mossy ah there's this is a, this is a favorite color of mine
Okay, so you can see there's, you know, I'm over projecting what I need, which is okay to get started. Um, always good to have sort of this kind of thing, a green heather mixture. Now I feel like I want, so we're call it kind of color planning the whole thing, but I'm not locking myself down to any of these colors. Um, I'm going to, I know I want the yellows. I just feel like I need like, I'm just going to pull this. I just feel like I need something odd in here. Something that's maybe some of this red. I don't know. It might not go in there, but so let's take this little bundle of joy and go out to here. Okay. I'll be right back. Alrighty. What did you bring for lunch today, Igor? So. Salad. Me so, too. Caesar. Caesar. Oh, Caesar. that's yeah. good. Yeah. What did you bring, Lorna? I have a wrap. You have a wrap. Chicken. Ham. Ham. Yum. I got a salad too, kind of a cabbage salad. So I'm going to just start with the impression of these flowers. Like I know that I'm not trying to make this look like goldenrod. So I'm just trying to make it kind of feel like goldenrod. And I'm not going to follow the, I just put these on here. So I'm not going to follow these exactly. And if this becomes a kit, we'll end up making the pattern based on Oh, it's so sweet. Uh, we'll end up making the kit based on, I love these little bundles of leftovers because you get a bit of this and a bit of that. We'll end up making the kit based on the finished rug. So um, when you're hooking, you, you don't have any strings hanging out of the bottom. Do you? No, this is just, just the one I'm working on. You want to bring all your ends to the surface. Yeah, you don't have anything underneath like no. dragging down. If you were a new hooker, you might think that was... Yeah, yeah. you might think I might have just, like, if I stopped here, but I'd always clip it and then come back to it. So there's... So sometimes you're going to push them up against each other. And this is a nice dark gold. Okay. So you'll see that my tips are all different lengths. So I'm, you'll see also that I'm leaving some room in between here. But today we're going to get the goldenrod on here. And then I don't know. I'm, I'm going to be anxious to finish some of these. So I'm not sure that we'll keep working on this. Like I might finish it this week. Who knows, right? Now it's tempting to just sort of pick up any gold. But with this rug, I just want to keep the same gold, like where this is half done. I could just pick up another gold and do it in a different gold on the bottom half. But I don't want to do that. I want to keep them kind of, if they start in this color, they finish in this color. And you'll notice that some of them are going all the way out of the rug and some of them are just going to the edge of the rug. So this lesson today is a good lesson in a lot of things. You've learned how to measure your frames, right? You're, you're measuring your frames and you know how to do that. And also you're learning, you're learning about flowers. You're learning about, you know, getting your edges straight on both ends, something that it's not what I'm really good at, but I'm practicing. And, uh, so you learned a lot of small things today. Well, and someone's asking again about how you did that with the measure or to check, figure out how much wool you needed. But that didn't really... I didn't, I didn't go into that. Yeah. So um, it depends. What you would do is you would take... A, every wool is different and every wool weighs differently. So if you took a strand of this wool, right? And you hooked one square inch. So let's draw one square inch on here. That's one square inch. So this is Briggs and Little, right? And you hooked one square inch.
So one strand at this length, you have to measure the length, that hooks one square inch. Okay? So you have to measure the length of the strand, and that hooks one square inch. But this, uh, this yarn here would be completely different, right? So every yarn is different. So it's very difficult to measure them exactly. You just do your best. The other thing that I often do is say if I want to, if I want to know how much yarn I'm going to need for the sky in this one. Oh, there's so many lessons today. I would take this and I would lay it about four thick. So right now it's about two thick. And then this is half again. So I would lay it like four thick. So that yarn will probably hook this area, right? And when it's about four thick. So I just, that's the way we do it with cloth. That's the way I try to do it with yarn too. So I don't want too many different cloth is a little easier. Cloth is way easier, right? Because you can just take it and fold it four times and you know. So a piece of cloth that's four inches by four inches by 16 inches will hook a four by four inch square. Simple. Okay, so this is our goldenrod and I, I really want to put in some green right now, but it's not the time for me to do that. It's just, I'm going to wait. But the yellows are so pretty. The yellows are so pretty. You love yellow, don't you? Yeah. You have your, your, you have a little yellow building in your, in your yard. Sweet. How are we doing for time? Uh, we started a little bit late. Yeah. How, how, what time do we have? You go or 22. 22? Well, oh, we better wrap it up. Okay. So that's our lesson for today. There were a lot of lessons today. We were lessening, we were lessening about measurement, the amount of wool that you need to hook something. We lessened about, um, we lessened, we learned about uh, making small things on a shedded cam frame, about the size of the rugs you need for the size of oh, your you frame. Oh, you to show your pillow or your... I'm going to show my pillow from last week. So this is the pillow that we completed. And really, I think it might end up being here because it looks so good. I don't know. What do you guys think? It looks really good. It does look really good. Yeah, I like it. It came out really good. I was going to take it home, but now I'm not sure. And then this could have two over here because I find these pillows just a little squat. So, yeah, and this is not bad. Like, it's comfortable. It's comfortable. It looks really good. So I'm really happy with the way that turned out. And I want to show you our new beginner kits. And I want to show you today how perfect they are and how they go together in sets, too. They're like perfect. You can have perfect little sets. Like, you can take the Dory Man. This is our new beginner kits. These are all $49.95 on burlap, a little bit more on linen. But you can take the Dory Man and you can put it with the three boats. This one is called Shorebound. And you'd have a nice little set, or you can hang them this way. The other, the other thing that looks, and then if you wanted to, you could pop a house in there and have a set of three like that. And they just, they're, you know, they're working together in a much different way than they used to. These two go together really great. You could have the, the sailboat and the houses above it. This one is called Schooner on the Bay. But I love these two together. So this one is called Weathered Farmhouse, and then the, the other one is Neighbors. And I made them that way so that we can hang them together and look really, really good. Even in terms of color, those two look good together. You know, the boat and, and the oranges, even though the subject matter is very different, but they still work together. They all work together anyway because they're all six by six inch and we do have the frames you can buy our frames that are six and a quarter inch by six and a quarter inch the other thing i want to remind you of is our flare yarn so last week we pretty much sold out of this yarn it was just an amazing and uh so we ordered more right away it's on order and this yarn is made in italy and it is 95 percent mule sing free virgin wool so that's what it says on it. And I'm just going to show you what one of them looks like hooked so that you can see because it goes thick and thin. So I want to just lift off. So this one here, for example, goes from green into pink into yellow, 
right? And let's have a look at what it actually looks like when we hook it, just so you can see. What did you fill your pillows with? Uh, I filled my pillows. Oh, it's sweet. So this would look really good. This one is great. Um, I forget the names of these. The names are on them. They're written on them. This one is spring. Um, so see how the green is turning, the yellow is turning into green now. And it's almost like a thick and a thin. So it gets fluffy and then thinner. So that's how it hooks up. I'm going to pull that out, wrap it back up. And you can dig in. And then if we look into this one here, which is called beach, you go underneath. It's called beach because underneath there's lots of blue. And of course, there's the color of beach rocks there. This blue one, uh, which I think we were sold out of and now is open again, um, that one's called beach too. Oh, that's my mistake. We have another one that's light blue. So see, this is beach and this is beach. So it just depends on where it ends, right? And where it begins. And then we have a fourth color. I'm not sure the name of it. And this one is marble. So Kush just added more inventory because I ordered them yesterday and you can go on. So if that was sold out and you missed out on it, now's your chance. So there you go, folks. That is my story today. And just remember that when you share rug hooking, you just never know what you're sharing. You just don't know what you're giving to someone when you teach them how to hook rugs. So be sure to share your gifts and your talents. I also wanted to mention that the town of Amherst has uh, decided to have a little soiree for me next um, next Thursday, is it? April 11th. April 11th. April 11th from 12 p.m. to 1.30. And you're welcome to come. If you decide to make a road trip to Amherst, you would come. We're just celebrating. Um, we're Where celebrating. They having they're having it at the town hall from 12 until 1.30. And uh, there's light refreshments, and we're just all going to have a visit and a little party, really. And it's to celebrate uh, the fact that I received the Order of Canada. So I thought it was lovely that the town wanted to do that. And I'm inviting you. So I hope the town knows that you're all invited. I'm sure it'll be fine. But anyway, if we run out of, you know, if we run out of chopped carrots, we run out of chopped carrots. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But if you can come, come. Like if you live down the road, come. We're looking forward to it. We're all we're all excited about it and going to have fun. And either this will be done next week when you come back or we'll still be working on it. I have no idea. But I'm glad you're here with me. And thank you very much. And uh, remember to share, 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 share your gifts, share rug hooking, because you never know what you're sharing with people. Thank you. That's it for me for today. See ya. Hookingrugs.com.